there are a few girls you're definitely not bringing home to mom. Number 10. Banana Peels Everywhere I think it's safe to say that we've all been there before. The moment where we cross over the line when we've had one too many. But this has probably never happened to you. Back in June 2018, after having a bit too much to drink, a Chinese lady got her foot stuck inside a squat toilet in southern China. Her family tried and failed to free her from the toilet. They eventually had to call firefighters to the rescue. Bizarre footage of the bizarre accident shows the woman falling and getting her right leg wedged just at the right angle to get her foot stuck in the squat toilet. Ugh. She can be seen pretty desperate to leave as she sat on the floor unable to move. She was quite drunk and kept mumbling to herself and toppling shampoo bottles in the bathroom stall. Firefighters had to destroy the porcelain toilet to free her, but luckily she only suffered minor injuries. Even though it's really strange to us, apparently getting stuck in a squat toilet is a common thing in China because of the prevalence of them. A man in southeast China got his whole arm stuck in one when he tried to get his phone that he dropped. Firefighters used dish soap to get things slippery, but broke the toilet anyways to free the poor man's arm. Ugh. Number 9. No means no. Imagine your craziest ex, then multiply he or she by a few thousand, and we still probably wouldn't get to the amount of crazy of this lady. In May 2018, an Arizona woman was charged with stalking a man because she has sent him a total of 65,000 text messages. On top of that, she broke into his home to take a bath without him knowing. And all this happened after they went on, wait for it, just one date. Jacqueline Aids met the unlucky guy who chose to stay anonymous through a dating site back in 2017. The two went out on a single date before she fell in love and started chasing him around. The poor guy obviously didn't feel the same way. He said she would sometimes send as many as 500 messages a day. At least he couldn't accuse her of sending mixed signals. He had to call the police twice after she parked outside his house and bombarded him with messages. The last straw was when he saw her in his house while remotely checking out his home surveillance video. That's when police officers went to his house and found her taking a bath in his tub with a large butcher knife left in her car. After that incident, Jacqueline still kept sending him messages. Just <laughs> wow. She was finally arrested, but only after showing up at the man's office claiming to be his wife. Jacqueline may be nutty and possibly a little dangerous, but you can't say she isn't dedicated. Number 8. Ketchup Rage From broken McFlurry machines to never having apple pies, there are plenty of things for people to complain about for a McDonald's. But nothing can explain the behavior of this girl. Back in November of 2018, California police arrested a woman for attacking a McDonald's manager. Why? Because the manager was being stingy with ketchup. Myra Gallo was caught on surveillance camera walking through the back door of McDonald's around 11 p.m. asking for ketchup. When the manager told Myra she's not supposed to be in there, the woman flew into a ketchup-deprived rage and started choking the employee. Just why? Other employees rushed to help pull Myra away from the manager because this girl was seriously disturbed. Or maybe you could say she was crazy for ketchup. And the strangest part is the employees didn't even say she couldn't have her ketchup. The manager had just asked her to go around to the front of the store like everybody else. On the surveillance footage, you can then see a guy, is that her boyfriend? Escorting the ketchup crazed lady from the restaurant after an employee told him what's up. Number 7. Shop with a cop day. Talk about terrible timing. That and being a complete idiot. In late December 2018, Two women were caught stealing $1,900 worth of electronics from a Target. How did they get caught? It's because they decided to rob that Target on the same day it was packed full of police officers for an event called Shop with the Cop. About 15 police officers from four departments were at the Target that night, helping 22 disadvantaged children pick out Christmas presents for their families. Kiana Wilson and Dana Johnson were the masterminds who chose that particular night for their little excursion. Store loss prevention officers watched the women load a cart with two Apple Watches, two iPads, and a Nintendo gaming system. Then they walked past the registers without paying. 
Needless to say, they never made it to the parking lot. The strangest thing is the women knew there were police around. One of the women actually approached an officer and complimented him about how generous the cops were with their time. Can people get dumber? Number 6. White Girl Privilege If we get pulled over for driving too fast, we would just try to be extra courteous to the officer and keep our fingers crossed. However, for a girl that blew through a stop sign going 60 miles per hour while intoxicated in South Carolina, she had other plans. Her plan for staying out of jail was telling an officer she shouldn't be arrested because she's quote a very clean thoroughbred white girl. Yeah, you can already tell this isn't gonna end very well for her. Lauren Elizabeth Cutshaw was slurring her words, smelled of alcohol, and had bloodshot glossy eyes when a police officer pulled her over at 4 in the morning. Lauren told the cop she was heading to her boyfriend's home after having a couple of glasses of wine at a restaurant for her birthday. But when the officer told her that she was under arrest for drunken driving, Lauren listed what she thought were very convincing reasons why she shouldn't be locked up. Apart from having graduated with honors from a highly accredited university, she was also a cheerleader, a dancer, and a sorority girl. And on top of that, she said that her boyfriend was a cop. If that's not bad enough, she kept saying she's very clean and a white girl. Aw oh, yeah, keep working that privilege angle, yes. As you've undoubtedly guessed, her special brand of charm didn't work. A blood alcohol test registered her at .18%, twice the legal limit. Lauren was charged with driving under the influence, speeding, disregarding a stop sign, and possession of marijuana, and unofficially being an idiot. Number 5. The Ultimate Nightmare Crystal Whipple is the ultimate nightmare customer. Crystal was arrested early January 2019, nearly two weeks after she ran over new Annie Nguyen, the manager of a Las Vegas nail salon, with a stolen rental car outside of the salon. Annie unfortunately passed away from the accident. So what happened? Crystal tried to pay for a manicure with a credit card that was declined multiple times. So she said she'd go outside and get cash from her car. But instead of getting money, she just got into the car and tried to leave without paying for the manicure. Annie and her boyfriend followed her outside to stop her from leaving. But Crystal decided to run over Annie when she got in front of the car, dragging her about 50 feet across the parking lot. She now faces multiple charges and is very likely off to a few decades in jail, something she definitely deserves. All this over not paying for a $35 manicure. Number 4. Proper Manners, Please Is it just us or do a lot of people these days just seem to act entitled for no reason at all? Just earlier in February of this year, 32-year-old Valerie Gonzalez was kicked off of a JetBlue flight bound for Las Vegas. Why? It's because she spit on another passenger and hit a crew member. That's one guaranteed way to get kicked off of a flight. This all happened during an angry rant that began just because she was seated next to a three-year-old kid. Gonzalez's outburst was caught on camera by a fellow passenger who posted it on Twitter. Apparently, she became very upset when she found out she was sitting next to a kid. She probably had that reaction because she had apparently been drinking all day. Seriously, drinking on an airplane is one of the worst times to drink, even if you're going to Vegas. But that's just us. Anyways, Valerie tried to move to a seat that wasn't hers to get away from the kid and was told that she was sitting in another passenger seat. So what did she do? She punched the lady in the arm for not moving. And once she noticed people were filming her, she spit on the person in front of her. On top of all that, she then hit a JetBlue agent on the head. As she was escorted out of the plane, she shouted, enjoy yourself in Vegas, babies. Maybe she was trying to be nice? Yeah, some dumb guy one day is probably gonna marry this lady. Good luck to him on that one. Number 3. Sushi on the Ceiling When you and your friends get together, one of the least likely things that would happen is a food fight in a restaurant. Right? Right? One food fight in Houston led to a police chase, followed by a bizarre standoff and arrest. What were these ladies on? The incident began after police got a call about three women throwing sushi and water at each other in a restaurant. When an officer arrived at the scene, one of the women tried to run over the officer with her car as she fled the scene. Luckily, the officer was able to jump out of the way, 
and then chase after the woman. Once she parked in front of a house, the woman, identified as 31-year-old Elise Dominique Allen, refused to get out of the car. She kept ignoring the officers as they surrounded her vehicle. The police officers had to break the driver's side window and remove Elise from the vehicle. However, Elise wouldn't stop kicking and screaming. Eventually, they resorted to tying her hands and feet before lifting her into the patrol car. Police said Elise was taken to jail for a mental evaluation and was later charged with evading in a motor vehicle. If you ask us, she deserves another charge for wasting all that sushi. Number 2. Instagram Hot Imagine being arrested and somehow that actually helps your life circumstance in a positive way. That's exactly what happened to Morella Ponce, a 20-year-old woman whose police mugshot went viral in 2017. She's definitely making the most out of her unintentional fame. Mirella became an internet sensation after she was arrested on a weapons charge, but obviously it wasn't her crime that gained her national attention. It was her mugshot. Mirella may not have been the smoothest criminal, but she has one thing going for her. She's got neck tats and she's actually pretty decent looking. Something you don't see every day if you're asking us. Her photo generated more than 2 million views and had people commenting on Fresno Police's Facebook page, and she had a lot of people commenting. Not talking about her crime, but about her mugshot. Some people even offered to pay her bail. However, we can't forget that she was associated with a gang. That and the fact that she was arrested in a car with her baby and a gun. But hey, hey, she didn't claim to be perfect. After her release from jail, Morella said she planned on turning her life around. Next thing you know, a Fresno-based photographer reached out to her through a mutual friend and offered to give her some modeling work. The photographer added that she had gone through tough times in her own life and understood the need for a second chance. Ponce already has had a few paying jobs, but now it looks like she'll also be doing a little bit of modeling. For all you aspiring Instagram models out there, we don't recommend going this route to land a modeling gig. Number 1. One Hot Slice who would have thought that such a delicious food item can actually become a deadly weapon? A 29-year-old woman in Nova Scotia was charged with assault for throwing a hot slice of pizza in another woman's face. Paige Baudry and her boyfriend were standing in line at a late-night pizza shop. They were waiting in line behind three women when a man came into the restaurant and got in front of them. Paige supposedly politely informed him where the end of the line was. But one of the women in front of them spoke up and said the man was with her. Holding a pizza in her hand, she asked Paige if she wanted the pizza in her face. Paige didn't want any trouble, so she didn't respond. Unfortunately for her, the other woman was just completely nuts and slammed the burning hot pizza into Paige's face. Paige said her boyfriend managed to get her out of the pizza shop and across the street, where they called the police. Paige ended up getting burns on her face, neck, and chest. This brings us to our lesson of the day. No matter where you are, always protect yourself and be aware of your surroundings. Here's what's next. 